What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game and guys we are heading in to game six of the season in my last game I lost a very close one 17 to 21 felt like I kind of got robbed and I'm definitely looking to get some revenge in this one. I want to walk away with a win. I need to make it to 5-0 so that I can avoid that level demotion and guarantee that I'm not going to be dropping down back into the All-Pro division. That's really what the goal is here, and that's what we're going to try and do. So here we go. Very first play of the game, guys. This is normally a, uh, a, a run to the opposite side, but I decided to audible it into a left side run because of the way that his defense was set up, and we pick up huge yardage there. Great decision, 27-yard gain there by Jeremy Hill on the first play. Second play, I'm going to scramble out to the right and find a wide open Calvin Johnson all the way down the field. Another huge gain there. Big, big pass by Mike Vick. I saw him kind of break loose and he got open and I just, I had to throw it even though it was such, like you would almost never th suggest throwing that kind of a pass, but I, I knew I had to on that play. And a couple plays later, Jeremy Hill is going to find his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Big play. Now, kick returns, you guys know, typically we don't show these, and that's kind of why we're showing this one. Uh, I drive all the way down the field, big, big plays, and uh, yeah, it just doesn't matter. Unfortunately, my opponent is going to score on a kick return. Now, we're trying to audible that counter play back again, and it didn't work out that time. Fortunately, though, we are going to pick up a couple of yards there and set us up with a manageable third and seven here, and I'm going to try and run the football one more time here. Try and set up a manageable fourth down if I need to, but by audibling my tight end out to the outside, typically people assume you're going to pass, so I want them to commit on the pass, and I think he might have there, but it's set up a, now a fourth and one, which I am going to go for here and pick it up with Rob Gronkowski. So difficult to stop those little short slants or the the little, uh, I don't even know what they're called, drag routes, I guess, to your tight end. They're just really difficult to stop if you're you know just trying to pick up one yard. You almost have to use them. So I take advantage of that there. But unfortunately, now I'm at a third and 12 situation. Have to throw this one into coverage because pretty much everybody was blanketed. Uh, I made a good pass there, actually, because I knew that his user was actually trying to cover Calvin Johnson. So Jordy Nelson was open kind of a couple yards behind him him thankfully because of where he played his user moving it continuing down the field here with some more counter runs by Jeremy Hill I really love the counter run out of that pistol bunch tight end formation it's very very effective for the most part oh Gronkowski you had that one down there at like the five yard line but he ends up dropping it Fortunately, Calvin Johnson is going to bail us out. Team of the week, Calvin Johnson. He's only 94 overall. Looking like an ultimate legend or a golden ticket, Calvin, on that reception. Big touchdown for us. And guys, we are back up seven. Gotcha, bitch. First play back on defense. Luke Keekley comes up with the interception. The user pick the whole way. We get another seven points on the board. So now we are up 14. 21 to 7 with only 30 seconds left in the half, guys. I kind of figured this was going to be coming. I had my safeties deep, and it just doesn't matter. Greg Olson comes up with a sick catch in coverage. Damn, that sucks. Uh, the streaks in this game are just so difficult to defend. The rocket catching or whatever you want to call it, spec catching down the field. Very, very difficult to defend as Taylor Mays drops an interception there. Very next play... He throws a perfect pass. I believe that's Julian Edelman getting into the end zone. So, damn, he was able to get a touchdown on the, on the scoreboard before the end of the half. Coming out of the half now, he gets the ball again, so he could potentially tie this game after being down 14 with under a minute left in the first half. So, uh, very frustrating stuff there. I thought for sure he was going to throw the screen pass there, but he ended up throwing a drag there to Julian Edelman. Nice pass third and two and he's going to go with this out route a couple of times in a row here and this was working against man coverage as well as zone coverage for me so I was uh, I was kind of getting a little bit upset not gonna lie to you he's gonna throw this thing one more time another beautiful pass there just nobody even near him it was just crazy finally though he does try to go over the middle and we get our second user pick of this football game with Luke Keekley. huge interception there at the goal line to prevent a touchdown Absolutely massive play by Luke Keekley. He is the man so far in this football game. And now with two minutes and 10 seconds left, I know what I really have to do is just kind of hold on to the football and do as much as I can to run out some clock. I mean, that's I got to try and score another time, I think. But 
I definitely want to try and run some clock as well in this football game. So I pick up a nice pass there to Gronkowski. Another big run here by Jeremy Hill. And we're going to continue again to try and grind this clock out just a little bit. Trying to stay in bounds. Brings up now a third and eight, and unfortunately, we are not able to pick up any yards to even make it manageable, so I did end up having to punt here, and now my opponent's got a plenty of time left to put up some more points in the uh, before the end of the game here. Again, he's only down one touchdown. Now, watch this pass here. This is probably one of the worst plays that I've seen Earl Thomas make. A lob pass off of his back foot and Earl Thomas can't intercept it. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Oh my goodness, I was raging. And he's going to throw it down the field here. Finally, Earl Thomas steps up, gets another interception. So yes, we are in good we are in a very good situation here. Beautiful pass there to Gronkowski. And we're again trying to grind out a little bit of clock here. Just a little bit. We don't we're not gonna try and be a cheeser, but I definitely want to try and make him use all of his timeouts so that if he gets the ball back, he has to try and pass. Can't allow him to run. Unfortunately, he did make a great play there on defense. Again, we had to punt. And now he's got what 47 seconds left to start this drive. And here it goes, guys. Opponent driving down the field, throwing this one up into coverage, and Earl Thomas nearly intercepts that thing, but he did swat it away, or at least made some contact on the receiver so that he wasn't able to make the catch. And they're going to try Patrick Peterson, and that is just bad users by me. Uh, I couldn't, for whatever reason, get my guy to turn around. Massive, massive play there. The streaks are for real. Pat P drops a pick there. Oh my goodness, another drop pick, man. How many do I have? Like It's just almost every play, it feels like. Finally, though, my opponent is going to throw this thing one more time over the middle to Luke Keekley. We get another user pick, our third of this football game. Absolutely love the way that that game ended. I, I mean, I had to make plenty of plays defensively by myself in this one to come up with the win, but I felt pretty good about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.